Next up, Mr. Beast. I have to ask you about what's happening with his sidekick, Chris. We talked about it on our show on Friday, and more clips are now emerging of this Chris Tyson, who's been the main sidekick to Mr. Beast, the most popular YouTube figure by far, 144 million followers. And his sidekick turns out to be trans. It, it was this married, masculine, mountain-type guy who, who was, had the beautiful young wife, has a two-year-old baby, and now suddenly he's a she and looks, I have to say, absurd, uh, but is celebrating his newfound womanhood and still posting publicly. And if you object to what you've seen or your children seeing it, you're a transphobe. Mr. Beast, who tries to stay political, a- apolitical, tweeted out on April 13th, yeah, this is getting absurd. Chris isn't my nightmare. He's my effing friend, and things are fine. All this transphobia is starting to piss me off. So, okay, this is getting dicey for him. He's been studious in avoiding this kind of thing, but it's been forced on him by his friend who transitioned um, and is now owning it on camera. Just for, just for some context here, here's a bit of his transformation, SOT7. Why did I paint my nails? Because my pee-pee big. That's why. Speaking of flapping, is that not pretty cool? Who would have thought? <laughs> oh, snap. Ah, he's like, hey, guys, welcome to my vlog. We doing monkey things. You know what to do. Roger that. Rubber Seuss, going dark. Hey, nice shirt. Thanks, dude, nice shirt. Thanks, nice shirt. He's got nice. the headband on. Shoes. Oh, wow, he's different. <laughs> This man's out there saying his his two-year-old baby absolutely supports him, has no problem. Like, okay, the, the child has no idea what, what is happening. You're inflicting damage by the day. You have no idea. Um, but Mr. Beast taking a stance for his friend. What do you make of it? Who would have imagined that a widely admired person in popular culture with the name Mr. Beast might have a few things that are a little off about him? <laughs> but but in, in his defense, he's in an impossible position here. And this guy, Chris, has put him in that impossible position. And the, the silver lining to this awful storm cloud, especially for his family, is it, it really clarifies the problems of the transgender movement and, and all of these leftist movements for that matter, which is... This guy, Chris, has decided because he has some disordered type of desire, he's going to shirk all of his other commitments and obligations, and he's just going to pursue his sexual desires. But that's not how we used to think about our identities and politics and the family, too. We used to think of it from the position of obligation. This man has an obligation to his wife. He took a vow and said he would be a husband to his wife. And part of being a husband means you don't become a wife yourself. This man has an obligation to his child. When you become a father, you take on responsibility and you have a responsibility to be daddy. And by being daddy, that means that you can't become a bizarre caricature of mommy. You have to fulfill your obligations. And it raises this question, why did this guy in his late 20s one day just wake up and decide after getting married, after having a kid, after being a dude for his whole life, one day he just decided that he's a woman. And what I strongly suspect is that one of the drivers of this is something that no one wants to talk about with the transgender explosion, and that is pornography. Uh, My friend Ali Stuckey pointed this out not long ago that uh, Chris had had all sorts of strange posts about really bizarre types of pornography, uh, even pornography involving depictions of children. And, and I don't bring that up to suggest that he's a pedophile. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not making that claim. People can draw their own conclusions. The only reason I bring it up is to show that the man is fluent in the language of pornography. And so he obviously has a, a relationship with pornography. And one of the undiscussed stories here, you can read it on Feminist Current, a, a really good article on that feminist website, is that there there are genres of pornography that encourage men to identify as transgender. When I brought this up on the show, many people started writing into me saying that they've encountered this kind of thing. It's obviously dangerous, it's obviously disordered, and people need to start paying attention to it. Yeah, yeah. well, we talked about this as well on Friday, and it's dark, this particular kind of anime. You know, it's chicken and the egg. What attracted him to it in the first place, or did he try it out and it drove him in a direction he wouldn't go? But once you get married, and in particular, have children. My position is it's utterly selfish and inhumane to go through with this. 
utterly right. selfish and inhumane. And to pretend your child's fine with it, is that not going to cause any damage, is a lie. It's a lie. I know that. Experts say that China is hoarding a massive amount of food. They will soon have over two-thirds of the globe's corn reserves, over half of its rice, and over half of its wheat. But when asked about it, China misleads. One China expert says they, of course, will never admit to something like that. Well, what does China know that we don't? When it comes to global food shortages, China may be the canary in the coal mine. Coal mine. You see, China is the world's number one food importer. They rely on the rest of the world to keep their people fed. So they cannot afford to mess up. There could be riots, there could be civil panic, or worse. That's why it's a smart idea to stock up on a kit of the best-selling Four Patriots survival food. Create your own stockpile of the best-selling Four Patriots survival food kits. Hand-packed in the USA, the kits are compact and stack easily. They have different delicious breakfasts, lunches, and dinners, and their five-star reviews on the website rave about the flavor and taste. Right now, you can get 10% off your first purchase of Four Patriots survival food by typing in the code MK at checkout. Just go to the numeral 4 patriots.com and use code MK to get 10% off your first purchase of four Patriots survival food. That's four patriots.com. Use the code MK. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.